<coughs> Hello YouTubers, uh, this video is going to be about uh, taking a single barrel and converting it into a rocket stove. And perhaps, let's not even look at it as taking a single barrel and converting it into a rocket stove, as it is what can be done to take a single barrel, uh, which is normally uh, just a door kit, some legs, and a uh, flange for your exhaust flue, and which is a pretty low efficient burn. Uh, how can we how can we increase the efficiency of that burn up close to a rocket stove and get some of those aspects out of it? Um, <clears throat> one thing I would tell you is many of today's uh, uh, wood stoves have catalytic converters in them. Uh, a catalytic converter is uh, a catalyst. A catalyst is something that promotes the change state that something else is in while itself remaining the same. So many of our catalytic converters have platinum in it. That's why they're so expensive. That's why they get so often cut off the cars. Many of the catalytic converter stoves today uh, are quite expensive. Um, I wanted to go over a couple of points here on how to make your single barrel stove equivalent or very close to equivalent to a rocket stove. This represents a 55 gallon drum. <laughs> what we did is we put the lid and the ring on the end that the exhaust was going to go out. On this end, we just bought a normal door kit and put the normal door kit here. And it's got the airflow regulator here and everything on it. First thing we do is we pour two inches of Hawthorne refractory fire clay in the bottom of the barrel. That gives a good flat surface in there. Uh, the reason you want the flat surface is you're going to stack up your bricks in there across the way and you want that to be a, a good a flat flat area. This represents the ribs that are on the barrel. They're approximately at a third. What you'll find is if you come six to eight inches in front of that rib and just make a slice in that barrel, a uh, quarter inch wide, where you can drop a plate of stainless down where it's four inches, six inches off of the clay at the bottom. Then it eventually works the same way. You will have your fire going in here. The draft will pull it up through here. This is your fire brick. Of course, your barrels, you stack those in there. <laughs> and you can cob in there to get those up to the edges, fill those in, or cut them, and then cob them combination of cut and column. You get that completely across the barrel here. Four inches here, four to six inches, depending on what, how big a barrel you're going to use. If you're going to use a 55 gallon drum, you can go six or eight. If you're going to use a small 35 gallon drum, you can go down to four. So this is just block a uh, fire brick in there stacked up to give it a barrier. It will draw this smoke and fire up through here it will come up here and it will basically burn like a rocket stove. Now, one other thing I want to tell you, these catalytic converters, I kind of drew one as a representation. They come all the shape sizes now, folks. You can get them uh, at replacements for replacement stoves. So, if you drop this sheet of stainless in here and put this weld in here, I got a little piece of angle iron represented right there. You can buy these catalytic converters, guys, and you can set that catalytic converter from here to here. There's holes all through that catalytic converter. It gets very hot. It breaks up the fire into little bitty pieces, and it can bust all of the gases. This is how you take a normal barrel stove and you up its efficiency to rival that of a rocket stove. I've seen one of my uh, guys named Peapotty, he, was a, he had a, a stove design and he was doing something very close to this. He come up very close to it. Uh, he's trying to redesign it and build his own box. Uh, I come up with this in order to do this in a single barrel conversion, just to drop a sheet of stainless in 
give your flat surface to put your fire brick on with some clay. Put your fire brick up. You don't have to use a catalytic converter there. You can build you a grid of iron or stainless and lay it across there and it'll work if you don't have the money for a catalytic converter. And what that does is once that gets hot and the uh, gases are passing up through it, it will help them to combust. Another thing it did, you'll notice, is that I set the, uh, the flue down. I didn't put it up at the high. You want enough spot in here so this is rolling around up in here. You want this to roll up in here. <coughs> Store this heat and give this heat off before it cools and comes down and goes out. Alright? So this is Redneck Trick 101, how to get a barrel stove <laughs> up to close to the efficiency of a rocket stove. Alright guys, thanks for watching.